Welcome to Crafting with Family Unit. I'm Felicia, and today we're going to experiment with making ornament boxes using the Cricut Venture. I typically make these with the Cricut Maker and have to switch back and forth between the scoring tool and the fine point blade, and it just takes time. I can make twice as many in half the time with the Cricut Venture, its new 24 by 28 inch mat, and overall speed of this new machine. In Design Space, I've selected to use the 24 inch by 28 inch mat, increase the number of project copies to six, and move the copies around to put them in each corner and then two along the 18 inch line. I can zoom in to see that area perfectly. I'm Bluetooth connected to my venture and will select cardstock as my material. Design Space shows what tools and materials will be needed for this project and what goes where. It's very helpful. Now that I'm ready to cut, I'm going to remove the protective cover from the mat, and that thing is huge and add my cardstock in all the spots that match what I had in Design Space. Then following along with what Design Space was showing for tools and materials, I'm gonna load the scoring tool into clamp A, then lift the lever on the left of the machine and move the pitch roller to position two, which is where mine was already set. I'm gonna raise the left and right guides before pressing the mat support button. I'm now ready to load my mat, which won't fall through completely since it hits the stoppers that come up when you press the mat support button. I noticed that when I loaded the mat that it was bent on the left and right sides, and then I remembered that the Venture came with additional extenders. So I removed the mat, and then I went and grabbed those additional extenders, assembled them, and then attached them to the back of the machine before reinserting the mat. Super simple. Now I'm ready to make my boxes. So with my mat reinserted, I'm lowering the lever on the left of the machine, then pushing the mat load unload button on the right. It scanned the mat to verify it has the material needed for this project, and then I hit the go button to start the cutting process. The Cricut Venture was a big time saver for this project for a couple of reasons. I was able to cut six boxes on one mat, that was huge, and because of the way the Venture works, you can put the scoring tool in clamp A and the fine point blade in clamp B and not have to switch those during the cut process like you do with the Maker. Really like that. Working with such a large mat was strange and awkward at first, but then I started getting used to it and now I'm having fun with this machine. After the cutting process was complete and the mat removed, I took off the extra mat extender from the back and then pushed the built-in extenders back in before lowering the lever on the left to keep them tucked in. Just as you would with smaller mats using the Cricut Maker or Explore, I flipped this giant mat over to remove the cardstock. After that, it was just a matter of folding the cardstock along the scoring lines and adding some glue to complete the ornament box. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to our channel and let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Happy crafting!